My question to you, why, it's, why are we at this, this stage still? What we need to do and why it's happening? Like when we actually achieve a massive adoption of the crypto. Analyzing the architecture of crypto exchange hacks. Nearly $1 billion have been stolen from cryptocurrency exchanges since their inception. Let's take a closer look at cybercrime techniques and what forward-looking businesses can do about it. Svetlana Shubina, Kaspersky. Hello, everyone. Um, today, we all met at um, Blockchain Island, crypto-friendly island. Somebody is investing, somebody is trading, somebody is developing some projects. All we know is that crypto is our future. It will not disappear, it's pretty obviously already. But still, uh, from different estimated uh, amount of users of crypto is around 13 or up to 25 millions of users, which is pretty not that much to take crypto so seriously. My question to you, why, it's, why are we at this, this stage still? What we need to do and why it's happening? Like when we actually achieve a massive adoption of the crypto. And I would like you to ask, to forget about what you're doing here for a moment. Just let's think as a potential investor, uh, as a user maybe, which like not really innovator and early adapter, but kind of massive, massive person who are thinking about to use a crypto. But then he can go to the internet to search some information about what is a crypto about, how to use it, and etc. And what he actually can see in the internet. Unfortunately, almost every month we see a lot of hacks. And of course, we, um, we know that there is a lot of scams, a lot of projects and so on, but it, it, it creates a really borders for the massive adoption for the crypto. And um, I would say that before a certain level of security will be provided, only bravest risk, risk takers will venture in the crypto sandbox. To, to this year is not over yet, but it's already was stolen more than two billion of dollars, which is crazy. And um, of course, the biggest portion of this amount it's uh, scams when project just dis disappeared with money. But it's like it's um, the theft already became a game changer. There is a lot of. Uh, regulations will come to us, we know about it. Like, for example, travel rule, which need to be adopted like uh, till June 2020. Mm. If we're talking about, um, if we'll talk about exchanges, there is already, this is amount is exactly of hacks, which amount was stolen. And like average sum of hacks around to 28 million of dollars. Unfortunately, uh, we need to take that hackers will never stop. If before uh, crypto has appeared, they need to steal information, then they need to stole this information, to sell this information, then only then they can get the money. But now it became a much more easier for them to hack any crypto exchange and any project and then just disappear like in a moment. And so let's have a closer look on the, how they do it and if there is a business can do anything about it. Um, there is a, let's start with a simple example. Spank chain. They lost around $40,000 during the ICO. Um, it's the technique, it's a rendering attack. The target was smart contract. 
what is the rent transit attack and how does it work? Uh, mo most probably, the, the most famous vulnerability of Ethereum, which appeared in the hack, you probably know about it. And, but how does it work? Let's imagine that user uh, asks you to, um, for a transaction, request for a transaction. Your smart, con your smart contract needs to do two things. First of all, uh, you need to send this amount to the user. Second, you need to change your balance. But the reentrancy allow to users ask for a several, maybe 10, maybe 20, the same transactions until you change the balance. This is how it works. The solution here is pretty simple. Uh, it's audit of the smart contract. I would say that the most important to do it, you know, before publishing the audit of the final version. And my recommendation to you to choose provider who not only checking the vulnerability in the smart contract, but also uh, give you a re report with recommendation and then he do a second pass check to be sure that the smart contract, that you fix everything in the correct way and you didn't create a new vulnerabilities. And from business perspective, um, the audit can include the final clean report, with, which actually can create a bridge between a project and between an uh, investor. Because investor will never mm, check the smart contract by his own. It's, it's not his job, basically. But the report from third part, from cybersecurity vendor, uh, can show that the condition in white paper was programmed in a proper way. Back in 2014, Kainomi, the oldest multi-asset wallet with millions of active users. This incident wasn't confirmed by the company, but was confirmed by the investor who uh, who lost his money, and he did a detailed investigation. In a short way, how does it work? Um, he found a crucial vulnerability in a wallet. When you uh, passed the text box, the text box where, where you passed your passphrase, was discreetly and immediately sending this information to a to a Google APIs.com through a uh, Chromium component browser for a spelling check. And somebody who had a request for this just used this passphrase to steal his money. It's just one case how uh, one vulnerability and pretty easy can, can affect you. What is the solution can, can help you here? How, how you can avoid such situation? I would say the most important thing you need to understand is that uh, you need to put regular assessment of your application as a basis, as a basis in development process. Because new vulnerabilities is appear because of reconfiguration, new updates, major updates, and coding errors, of course. And the only real, reliable way here is to do it regularly. You can do it, uh, the cyber security vendor can offer you several ways of uh, application security assessment, like first is the auditing of the source code, uh, then like the uh, mm, provider hacking your application with a basic access, and when uh, the third one, which called black box without any knowledge about your application, it's hacking you, and then to prepare your detailed report about how they did it. Can you imagine that hackers silently replace the wallet address during the ICO and stole around seven millions of dollars during 24 hours? Of course, it's not money of the project, but it's, it's investment where, which they were planning to get. Lessons to be learned, which one? Single page. Uh, landing page, website, if it includes any transactional uh, information, payment, payment transaction, it needs to be audited by security, from security perspective. And regular pin testing of your network show how hackers can go inside. Actually, it show you existing vulnerabilities and the ways how, you can, how they can get in. If you don't check your attack resistance, then hackers will do, unfortunately. 
uh, in May this year, uh, one pretty famous exchange also became a target. And um, the most weakest, if you even do application security assessment, penetration testing, you're checking hacker resistance, but still the weakest point uh, for you, like for uh, is if you are application, it is the users. It's the users and uh, of course, which holding a lot of money. And it was a target and they stole around 40 millions from users' accounts. Uh, according to um, company announcement, they use a lot of techniques, including phishing and including viruses. There is a range of solutions which allow you to monitor the behavior of your users, not only from technical perspective, but also behavior, how they do swipe, for example, how they hold phone, how they typing, how fast, which part of keyboard they usually use. And this uh, solution uh, allow you to prevent fraud against your users uh, before it's even been committed. And the final case, it's a positive case. It's a um, Merkelion, Austrian-based company, which launched uh, around uh, 15 crypto exchanges in 12, 12 countries, decided to do a security audit to ensure the investors and potential customers about that it's a hack resistance, it's reliable. And this is a case uh, when cybersecurity helps to win um, like it became a competitive advantage because now we are in the crypto industry, we see a lot of cases of hacks and scams. And we just market and investors and the users are looking for a solution which will be safe because investor, just one basic thing he want to give you, he want to ask you, it's a, like a low, mm, the understanding that the money will not be blocked or hacked or stolen. Just, it's a short checklist what you can do about your business. Uh, conduct security assessment of applications uh, after major updates. Put it in your regular process development. And uh, check your hack resistance of your network. And also, do audit of the smart contract and protect users. This is the four points which will help you to show that you are a worst project and, in, and at the end to rise and to monetize your business as much as possible. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.